It's uh, so difficult uh, to face where we are today with an extreme House Republican effort to recklessly steer our government towards a preventable shutdown that would put many of the critical services that we care about deeply at USDA at risk. I know about this firsthand uh, because I was Secretary of Agriculture during 2013 uh, when we had a shutdown, and I remember then the needless challenges and disruption that it caused. So today I thought it would be important to highlight uh, some of the impacts of this e extreme Republican shutdown, what impact it would have on rural Americans, farmers, families in need. Let me start with WIC. WIC is a program that impacts and affects over 50 percent of all the newborns in this country. Uh, nearly 7 million pregnant moms, uh, new mothers, and young children count on WIC every single day uh, to receive support, nutrition assistance support. With a shutdown, uh, what we would see across the United States is a denial of those benefits and opportunities. Uh, in some cases, uh, it would be uh, literally within a matter of days after the shutdown. Uh, in some cases, it may be, in some states, it may be literally in a matter of weeks. But clearly, uh, during the course of a shutdown, millions of those moms, uh, babes, and young children uh, would see a lack of nutrition assistance. And it's not just uh, the WIC program, as important and significant as that is. It's also about our farm economy. Uh, now is a time when farmers are harvesting their crops and they're seeking marketing loans, uh, which allow them and assist them in uh, ensuring that they get a decent price for their crop. Uh, when we have a shutdown, uh, Farm Service Agency offices in virtually every county of this country shut down, and those loans are, are not available. Uh, it's not just about farm loans. It's about uh, newlyweds uh, who have decided to purchase their first home uh, in a rural small town. Uh, perhaps they're getting a loan guarantee uh, from a bank that is guaranteed by USDA, or perhaps they're getting a direct loan from USDA to be able to purchase that home. Uh, with a shutdown, those loans don't take place. And it's conceivable in those circumstances, not only do they not, uh, are they not able to close the loan, it's also conceivable that they may lose the deal. So this is a matter of real consequences when we are faced with a shutdown. Uh, it's not just about rural America, it's also about our natural resources. As you probably know, the USDA is responsible for maintaining 195 million acres of national forests and grasslands. These are often places where people go uh, to recreate. Uh, and when they do, they provide tourism dollars uh, to communities in which uh, they are going and spending time. Uh, when we have a shutdown, those national forests shut down and they are closed. Uh, and so those family trips don't take place and those tourism dollars are not spent and the jobs they support are at risk. Once there is a shutdown, uh, how long can you keep nutrition assistance going? To uh, make sure I understand your question, the SNAP program, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, will continue okay. at least for a month of October. Okay. Now, if the shutdown were to extend longer than that, uh, there would be some serious consequences to SNAP. The WIC program that I talked about today, uh, which is for nearly 7 million uh, moms and, and, and children, that program expires, if you will, or stops immediately when the shutdown occurs. We have a contingency fund at USDA that might continue it for a day or two. Some states may have leftover WIC benefits that have not been spent, which could extend it for a week or so in that state. But the vast majority of WIC participants would see an immediate reduction and elimination of those benefits, which means the nutrition assistance that's provided would not be available. 